All right, guys, check this out. I'm gonna open up my patio door right here. Check this out. The snow is finally melting. You guys don't know how proud I am of that. Snow's finally melting. That means it's time to film a video. Anyway guys, what's going on? It is Bass Kicker here, back with another video. And in today's video, we are gonna be going over my rod and reel arsenal. I know you guys have been wanting to see a rod and reel arsenal video, so I figured I would go ahead and do it. I haven't done one in almost a year, so I figured I'd do it. It's changed a little bit in the last year. As you can see, I'll go ahead and show you real quick. I got all my bait casters, all my spinning rods. So we're basically just gonna be going over that today um showing you guys what i got um it's quite a bit so you know hopefully you guys don't get bored during this video anyway uh let's get into the rod and reel arsenal stay tuned so um it consists of two spinning rods and six bait casting rods and um we're going to be going over them not in any particular order uh, but we're going to be going over them showing you guys what i got uh, what I'm fishing with uh, this year in 2024, what my rod and reel arsenal is going to look like um, here in 2024. Um, so we're going to be going over that. Um, quick disclaimer before I start this video, I am not sponsored by any of the uh, companies um, that I have uh, rods and reels with here. Um, not partnered, nothing like that. Um, this is just uh, my uh, the rods I prefer to use. So we can start off with um the actually we'll start off with the bait casting rods um i got quite a few here quite a big of variety pull out this first one all right so this one here basically is going to be great for uh um, jigs um anything slower that i want to fish on the bottom uh like maybe a slower texas rig uh but it can definitely handle uh some heavier stuff and i'll show you why here in a second so the uh, reel is a uh, Lose American Hero um, Laser AH Speed Spool. Um, it's a really great reel. Um, it's a 6 4 to 1 gear ratio, so it has a really, really nice um, kind of a mid cadence retrieve. Um, I got it spooled up with um, 30 pound Spider Wire Easy Braid, and I have a 14 pound fluorocarbon leader on there. 90% um, of the time when I'm fishing braid, I'm using a leader, either fluorocarbon or monofilament. I'll go over that in a little bit. Uh, the rod is a, uh, it's a Luz Xfinity Pro Speed Stick IM8. Um, they're pretty nice rods. Um, I got a pretty good deal on uh, three of these rods here. They're uh, three of my bait casting rods are Xfinity Pro Speed Sticks. Um, really, really comfortable. It is a, uh, the rod's a, a seven foot medium heavy power, fast action. So um, it's really, really light because it's made of um, IM8 graphite, um, endurance graphite. So it's a really, really nice rod. Um, it's got really, really nice cork on it. Um, I really like the cork feel on these rods. Um, they're very, very comfortable in hand. So when I'm holding these rods, they're very, very comfortable. Um, so yeah, like I said, using this one for, you know, jigs, um, anything I'm fishing on the bottom, like, uh, jigs, uh, lighter, heavier Texas rigs, um, you know, tubes, um, all that good stuff I'm fishing all on this rod right here. Really, really great rod. All right, next up, we got a, a similar combo. It's not the same combo, but it's a little similar. All right, so uh, next up, I got my uh, Luz. This is another American Hero. This is the uh, Luz um, American Hero Speed Spool MCS. So it's a little bit different um, look and style uh, than the original American Hero. Um, it's got um, nine plus one ball bearings in it, so it's a really, really smooth reel. The gear ratio is also different on this one. This is a seven one to one, so it's a little bit faster. Um, uh, that fast gear ratio is going to help me out a lot when, you know, like fishing swim jigs. Um, if I'm fishing um, maybe a buzz bait and I need to fish a little faster. Um, maybe stuff like that. It's anything that's really fast that I would need the braided line for, I can throw for this. Uh, so it's a really, really nice uh, 
nice reel right there. The rod is the exact same uh, rod as the uh, last rod. It's the uh, Lose Xfinity Pro Speed, or Pro Speed Stick IM8. Um, same length and power. It's a seven foot medium heavy power fast action. Um, but yeah, and the line I have on this is a 30 pound spider wire easy braid again. Big fan of braided line. Uh, allows me to make longer casts and allows me to get really good hook sets from far away because um, I'm mainly fishing from the bank. But uh, I really, really like these uh, IM8 rods. They're always equipped. They are, are equipped with micro guides, so they're really, really tiny. Really good line management, and the cork is also really, really nice on these rods. So I really, really like them, and they're just really, really light. My uh, lose. Um, as you guys notice, I, I use a lot of loose reels. I really like their components and uh, their reels last a long time even though they're in a really nice comfortable profile. And they're reasonably priced too. They're not too outrageous with price like, you know, Shimano and stuff. This is my Xfinity Speed Spool SLP. Um, I got it spooled up with 12 pound of Berkley Trilene Big Game Monofilament. Um, basically using this one for, you know, mainly top water because um, that monofilament it's got that high stretch and then it's got the buoyancy of the line so using this one a lot for top water fishing um, you know blade baits a lot of the time um, so I can get uh, so they have a little bit more of a slower fall um, but yeah that's basically all I'm using this rod for I really don't have another use for it other than those um, I'm sure I'll find another one. Uh, the rod, or uh, the, the gear ratio on the uh, Xfinity, uh, the Xfinity speed spool is uh, 7.5 to one, so it's a little bit faster. Um, so I can cover a variety of different cadences. Um, the rod is a, another Luz Xfinity Pro Speed Stick IM8. Um, this one here is a little bit different though. The action and power is a little bit different. This one here is a seven foot two, which would be my longest rod. This is a seven foot two, medium heavy power, extra fast action. So it's gonna be a little bit easier to work those top water baits with that extra fast tip. Really, really nice. But uh, yeah, again, I really like these rods because of the feel of the cork and the color scheme is really nice. And the components they use to make these rods, you know, like the guides and stuff like that are always on point. But um, yeah, really comfortable rods. I really like these rods. That's my last one of those. This is another lose combo, but it's not, um, it's a little bit lighter of a combo. It's not an Xfinity Pro speed stick. So the reel is a, a lose reactor speed spool SLP. Uh, really, really nice reel right here. Probably the nicest one in my lineup. Um, I got it spooled up with uh, 14 pound fluorocarbon. Um, the gear ratio is 7.5 to 1, so again, really, really fast, or on the faster side. So it's going to allow me to uh, retrieve those baits a little faster. The rod is a Lose American Hero Speed Stick IM6. So it's not exactly as light as the, uh, the IM8 rods, but it's still a very, very nice, light, compact balance is really nice on these rods. Um, this is basically my rod that I'm using for like uh, moving baits. Uh, so spinner baits, crank baits, chatter baits, um, weightless plastics, um, all that stuff. This rod is very, very versatile. This one here doesn't have any cork. This is all EVA foam, but it's still a really, really nice rod. I've had it for a little over a year now and I'm absolutely loving it. Really comfortable. Caught a bunch of fish on this rod already. It's just a really, really nice addition to my lineup. Uh, one thing I want to say about the reels, the reel was a little bit harder to find because um, I wanted it originally, uh, the Reactor Speed Spool SLP, really, really nice reel, um, uh, retails for about $85. Um, it was a little bit harder to find for me, so I had to get mine online, but um, if you guys want to check these out, um, I'll have them all checked down below in the description so you guys can go check out all my rods, but uh, yeah. Uh, the action and power on this one is a seven foot medium power fast action. So it's uh, my only medium power bait casting rod. It's got a really soft tip on it. Great for those moving baits. All right, a couple more. I got, uh, this is my uh, only favorite reel. 
uh, by the favorite fishing company. This is um, a favorite um, Army SS. Really, really nice reel. Um, it's got 10 ball bearings in it, so it's a very, very smooth reel. Um, I don't use it as much, so when I do use it, I'm mainly using it for like, a, you know, deep, really, really deep diving crankbaits. Um, extreme deep divers. Um, I'll throw on this, um, you know, heavier spinner baits um, that may, maybe are like a half an ounce and heavier. Um, I'll go ahead and pair up on this one. Um, I got 14 pound fluorocarbon on it. And I'm using um, the rod is a limited edition rod. They're pretty hard to find. I've had mine for quite a while though, for a couple of years. This is the Abu Garcia Major League Fishing Limited Edition bait casting rod right here. It's a seven foot medium heavy power fast action. Um, really, really nice rod. It's got a wind grip on it. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but the grips by wind, really, really comfortable grip. Um, one critique I do have to say about this rod is that the guides fail very, very easy on it. So I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but I had to replace the top guide because the guides kind of fail. The inserts on them aren't very good. That's why I've kind of moved away. I used to use Abu Garcia rods all the time. So I kind of moved away from them because of the fact that the guides were just no bueno. Like I, I could not deal with the guides. But I used to use Abu Garcia all the time. Um, the braking system on this reel is also pretty cool. It's centrifugal. So the um, the gear ratio on this one, I believe, is a 7.3 to 1. Yeah, so it's a little bit faster. And as you guys can't tell, I really, really do like faster reels. Uh, in my opinion, they're just more optimal. Um, I catch a lot more fish on... Uh, it helps me catch a lot more fish because I can actually choose the cadence of which I'm fishing. So that kind of helps a little bit. Next one, this one here is basically my beef stick. So this one here is the heaviest rod of all my arsenal. This is the, uh, we'll start with the reel. This is a Luz Classic Pro Speed School SLP. Really, really nice reel. I've had it for a long time and it does perfect. The grips haven't failed yet. Um, it has great line management uh, and it's just a really, really nice reel. Um, caught a lot of fish with it. Um, I got, it's also, by the way, this one is also a 7.5 to 1. Uh, the, line on here, the line on here is 50 pound spider wire easy braid. So I hefted it up a little bit um, because I'm mainly using this combo for frogging, uh, flipping and pitching, punching, um, you know, anything that I'm using extremely heavy cover, I'm pulling out this rod. Um, the rod is a, a Team Daiwa Aired X. Um, pretty harder rod to find. Um, I got it off a of tackle warehouse on sale, so um, pretty good deal. The rod is extremely comfortable. It's got a really unique trigger on it, so it's very, very comfortable in hand, and it's really, really nice and light, so I can work those frogs a little better. Um, yeah, the rod is a, a seven foot heavy power fast action, so um, it's a lot beefier of a rod. Um, but it's still really, really nice and light to handle. Uh, you can see the tip. So if I try to bend this tip back, it's extremely stiff right here. So it's the heaviest rod of my entire arsenal. And I only bust it out really. Uh, oh yeah, another thing I'll use this rod for is like if I'm fishing uh, um, a really heavy flipping jig, like a half ounce flipping jig, um, and I'm flipping that into heavy cover, I'll go ahead and put it on this rod. But uh, yeah, that's about it for the bait casters. We can get into the uh, spinning combos now. So my main spinning combo, I carry two with me. Um, well, I have two in my arsenal. Uh, the main one's mainly, you know, for like uh, wacky rigs, um, drop shot, shaky head, Ned rig, um, all that good stuff. And the reel is a Luze LZR Pro 30 size. So this is the 30 size LZR Pro. Um, reel, uh, the gear ratio, if I can read it right, it's a 6.2 to 1, so it's pretty fast for a spinning rod. And uh, the line on here, I have 20 pound spider wire easy braid down to a 14 pound fluorocarbon leader. Um, really, really nice reel uh, for the money. Uh, it's pretty nice. 
The rod is a uh, Luz Hank Parker Signature Series Speed Stick. It's a uh, IM6. And then the Action and Power. So it's a medium power, fast action uh, spinning rod. And uh, it's a really, really nice light rod. Um, it's easy to handle, so I can handle it pretty easy. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty good rod for, like I said, shaky heads, drop shot, Ned rig. Um, you know, finesse plastics on a jig head down on the bottom. Uh, this rod right here throws it like a dream. And I picked this one up fairly recently, so I haven't had a chance to fish with the Hank Parker, the Hank Parker Signature Series yet. But I have fished with the reels, um, and they're pretty good so far. So there's that one. And then my last rod that we're going to talk about in this video um, would be my, you know, the rod I would be using for panfish, trout, crappie, bluegill, um, all that stuff. And I don't do a lot of it, but when I do, this is the rod I bust out. So uh, this reel is uh, just like the rod I just uh, talked about. This is a lose Hank Parker signature series speed spin. So this is the real version of that rod. Um, and it's a really, really nice, nice, nice reel. Um, I got it paired up with a uh, six pound um, Berkeley Trilene XT, or actually no, I think it's XL. Yeah, Berkeley Trilene XL monofilament. Um, and then the rod is a this is actually my cheapest rod that I have, believe it or not. This is a Ozark Trail OTX Pro, um, five foot, six inch light power fast action rod. So it's got a pretty interesting guide design on it. Not really sure if you guys can see that, but it's actually pretty interesting. Uh, basically throwing this for, you know, trout, crappie, bluegill, panfish, whatever. Um, this rod's actually an IM7, so it's actually pretty light. Um, it's got really interesting map like cork on it pretty interesting um, and it's got a really interesting hook keeper on it not sure if you guys can see that against my finger but uh, yeah basically just using this rod for that mainly busting it out this time of year because obviously it's freezing outside you guys have seen this rod in a few of my videos um, it's pretty nice all right guys well that's my rod and real arsenal and I have to say um, I am 100% satisfied with every single thing I have um, it gets everything done to, uh, for what I need and it fits my standards just right um, and it allows me to go out and catch fish and make some videos for you guys so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys want to see more videos like this where I go over some of my fishing gear and whatnot do not forget to subscribe I put out new videos every single week thank you guys so much for watching and as always stay on the bar but I will catch you guys again on the next video thanks for watching